Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today for the second Winter of Woe video of the day. And man, this one is actually very difficult. You know, the first video, I don't think I really got a chance to uh, comprehend how hard this fight is because we were just using power control and we didn't have to deal with anything. But after that, dude, using the, the mutant champs, holy crap as you can see i have that objective done now so we're gonna be talking all about that i'm gonna show you guys how to easily cheese that objective because that's actually the hardest one but there's a way to completely cheese bypass it so we're gonna be jumping into that uh but before we do that something i also want to talk about was you can dupe deathless guillotine now which I, was never a thing uh this bam just sprung this on us so i don't even have her man i don't even i haven't even claimed her yet so i have to claim her use her then i'll get her duped um so that's gonna be quite interesting yeah um and then i still have the mighty avengers tag that one is gonna suck i might have to rank up photon ah oh, man i don't know about that one but we're focusing on the mutant one today so um i try i'll show you guys who i tried first and i'll tell you how it went so let's put this to mutants and then magicka real quick so i tried iceman and, you know, push her to special threes, hid behind my ice armor, worked terribly because she applies a bunch of Neuroshock, and then you just die after. So that didn't work. I tried Domino, dropped a special two, got some bleeds, but then Domino started failing, preventing her buffs, so she takes damage. So Domino doesn't work. Then I tried Emma, didn't really work. Uh, then I tried Gambit, and then he also didn't really work. But then I tried Gambit again, but I completely changed the playstyle. You know, before, the first time I was doing it, I was just going for, you know, building up big special twos and pushing her to special, her special two and trying to evade it and stuff. That's not the way to go. We can just unlock. So Gambit with his special one, he has an 85% chance. I, it's, I think it took me three attempts and in all three attempts, she was stunned every single time. Like I never had my special one not stun her. So yeah, it's pretty reliable. So just keep spamming special ones. Uh, some things to note, my Gambit is a 7 star, so if you're going to be trying this with a 6 star, it's going to be more difficult, unless they're rank 5, just because of the combat power rate. What that means, essentially, is, you know, Gambit, or any, any champion has a 7 star, they just spawn in with max combat power rate. But for every other star level, it increases with your rank. So that's, you know, when you hit the opponent, like, the amount of power you gain changes based on your rank. So, for example, if you're using a 6-star rank 4 Gambit to try this, it's going to be more difficult because you're not going to be getting quite as much power. And the little bits of power truly matter here because you need to keep getting back to your special one to continue the stun lock chain. Uh, so that is something very important. The other thing that I will mention before we get to the gameplay is that I had a 5-star Gambit relic attached to my Gambit. That is also important because... The higher star level, the relic, the, the relic that you have doesn't matter, but just have at least a five star relic or a six star if you can uh, on your gambit so that um, the higher the star level, it, it's similar to the combat power rate thing. Uh, you know, just the, the hits that you do, it's going to generate more power in your striker. It's going to recharge quicker. Um, the spirit gauge is going to fill faster the higher the star level. So the faster the spirit gauge is fills, you know, the quicker you can use your striker which is just going to, in turn, be more hits, more combat power that you're going to be gaining, more easily secure the stun lock. Okay, so that's kind of the, the things you need to know. Now, let's go jump into the gameplay. Alright guys, so this was my second to last attempt. I think like maybe my second attempt. I think it took me three, three or four tries with Gambit. Um, so, you know, this run was going really good. We're 268 hits in, but then I make a mistake here. Um, just look, look at that. I just... Accidentally mess, mess, missed time the stun. AC, what are you doing? Uh, and here, look at this. Look how stupid that was. So I felt like including that. It was so funny. And then, yeah, 272 hits down the drain. We're dead. And I was just making sure I'm still recording. And I'm like, okay, that was a really good run. Let's jump back in. Double check I'm recording. Yeah, we're still good. All right, let's go in here. I do have a little bit of boost on. I have a little attack boost and a little attack and health boost. Just to you know, speed this along a little bit. Uh, here, I'll show them off. 
Yeah, you can see a 15% and a 10%. Just because this is a rank 1 gambit, it's a lot of hits. So the way I like to start is to build one special 2 and pop it. Just so, you know, we can get a nice chunk of damage just to start with. Just, you know, put a big dent in before we start unlocking. So that's what I'm going to do. Because, you know, uh, her power it has power focus 2 on this node. So... Once she's above that special 2, she just doesn't really gain much power. So it takes quite a while for her to get to special 3, but not that long. You know, but long enough that we can drop a big special 2 here. So that is what I am about to do. I'm going to pop this. Boom. 10 prowess. Um, I'm going to pop it right here, right now. I think. There we go. <laughs> so 11k, and then, unfortunately we didn't crit. Then the second part did crit, though, with 97,000. So you don't have to start that way. You know, you can just start build below, right below two bars of power and throw your special one and start stun locking just so that you start with an abundance of power. But this is going to be good enough. So with Gambit, uh, with Max Stupefy here, you're going to be able to get off four hits. So medium, light, light, medium, and then pick up the fresh combo with a light uh, just so you can get it activated quick enough so that, you know, she doesn't hit you with a special three. And then, yeah, that's pretty much the rotation. So medium, light, light, medium, and then full five hit combo into the special one, repeat. And then you wanna be utilizing your striker when it comes back, when you can. So here you see, I go for it. Uh, and then I'm gonna build just below two bars. Now I have a, I have an abundance of power. I'm not worried. I think I actually even started to switch to some three hit combos at some points. Three hits is safer, it feels safer but sometimes you need the fourth hit to guarantee yourself enough power to continue the stun chain. So try to get the four hit combos if you can. Um, and yeah, you wanna be utilizing those strikers when you get them. So you can just keep building as close to two bars as you can, but staying below so that you don't really run out of power. Because you're gonna, we're gonna get to a point in this fight, it's not for like another like 150 hits or something till we get there, but I, I start to really run out of power right at the end of the fight, and I thought I was actually gonna die. Um, <laughs> I really did. But I luckily like had just the right amount uh, to continue the stun lock, and it's not get hit by a special three. So yeah, this is pretty much the fight. Um, <laughs> and I highly recommend this because all the other mutant options I tried were just terrible. Just, like I don't think I got her below like 80% with anyone else in one run, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, this fight is 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 quite difficult, but when you can cheese it like this, it's not too bad. So, yeah, guys, it's time to break out the gambits. I mean, technically, you know, a five-star gambit would work. A four-star gambit could work. You just want them to be max rank um, so that they have the max combat power rate. But, yeah, there's no reason why a lower star level gambit wouldn't work here. Like, even a four or five star, even a three star, um, technically, you know, as long as you get into the rotation, it's just going to be a longer fight, you know. This fight, I think, takes me, like, well, we're almost halfway, 250 hits in. It's, like, 468 hits or something like that. So, you know, and that's with a seven star. So, if you're using, let's say, a five star, you can probably expect around 800 to 1,000 hits. And then if you're using a four star, you know, it's only going to keep going up. So, you know, maybe 1200 hits, maybe like a 12 minute fight. But hey, if you can do it for free, uh, you know, just take some time and just get this stun combo down. You know, why not? Or you can just revive, you know, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. Do whatever you want. But um, I, I like stun locking. It's fun. It's rare that we get to use this kind of strategy. Uh, so when I can, uh, you know, I, I have a lot of fun doing it. Plus, you know, Gambit, like, I rarely ever have a use for him. So finally, my Awakened Gambit as a 7-star is finally coming in handy. There we go. So, boom. 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, or I just said 3 hits there. Uh, but I did that. I only did 3 there because I knew I had the Striker. So I know I can build my power up to make up for that lost hit. But, yeah. So once she's down, I think, like, 15%, that's when things start to get a little sketchy with my power. Um... It was right there, right there. I like hesitated for a moment and I completely screwed things up. I completely screwed this up. So now like I don't have enough power. You can see my power is, I, I really, really messed up. You know, before that, this point in the fight, we never had an issue. We've always had an overabundance of power. Now I'm stretching it. Now, like look at my power, dude. It, 
it, thank God I hit the striker here. I wouldn't have reached a bar of power. That's why the five star gambit relic, uh, or just like the high star level of the relic really, really came into play there. And it's going to come into play again, uh, I think on the next rotation here. So boom, get that special off. One, two, three, four. I can't afford to do three hits here. So boom, yeah, I do get that striker off. Once I got that off, I felt really good. I'm like, okay, nice. I can do another full five combo, build some extra power. I finally like caught my breath kind of at that point. I'm like, okay, I should, should have enough power to do this now. We're almost there. We're in the home stretch. Let's get this done. Come on. Um, boom. Yep. Got enough to reach another striker. And at this point, I'm like, okay, we're good now. It's all good. I saved it. Look at my power. We have an abundance again. It's all good. Did it even could afford a three hit combo there and then she's dead right here boom <sighs> got her down so a little bit of a, a slip up at one point in the fight it's very easy to slip up it's hard to you know keep the combos consistent the entire fight you know when you're doing almost 500 hits that was 466 hits i guess that was two hits off i think i said 468 but pretty close but that is how to cheese the x magica mutant objective I think this is by far the best and easiest way to do it. Um, I've seen some other people use like Danny Moonstar on Danny Moonstar and Professor X. Me personally, no thanks. I'm just going to cheese it with Gambit. And yeah, that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like for the cheese. Subscribe to see more guides, more tips and tricks, all kinds of stuff in the pipeline. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoy. Peace out.